Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're doing Man of Medan again. Um, hopefully I get uh, a little bit more in today. Um, but here we go. Let's get into it. I don't know where it's going to start us since if you the last episode I had to cut it in the middle. I'm not sure where it's going to start to save up again. So hopefully it's not too far. But alright, let's go. Last time we were finding a dead guy on the ground. Oh! Cool. So it, it just off this exactly the same place. Bullet. All right. That's nice to know. Thank you for game. I mean, that's a nice detail. <laughs> okay, nothing over there. Oh, it's a little rat. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. What the? Oh, jeez. Well, that's a nice start, isn't it? Wow, okay. What in God's name is this? Oh. This reminds me of a movie. Ghost Ship? Is there a lady gonna be here singing to me? Oh, dude, did you see that? Did you, did you see that? Okay. Why, why is there showing a dead Brad? I think the last time we left him, he was alive and well. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can't go around it, alright. What? What? Was that the piano or the game's music? I don't know. What's this? Is this the liquor cabinet? What? In the world am I looking at here? Does it change? No. Wait, I just saw a sign just when the door opens up. I'm just gonna try one more time to see if I can see what it says. Uh, no, I, I did not have time. All right, no idea what that is. What am I? Why can't I not walk? Weird. And what do we have here? A bunch of circles in the back. An upside down cross. Oh, is that a cult book? Yes, yes, I think it is. That's just a guess. Cabal should silently assemble and no more than, or fewer than five true individuals of sound mind and spirit. It should number three females, two male, firstborn faces obscured with hood. Sigils. No, it is important to the sorcerer and the spiritual well-being flock that before the festival of our can ritual of oh my god, are you kidding me? Is performed to wend away demons by means of cabal. The pentacle shall be drawn out, and each member shall stand at each of the five primary points. A lady born of the seas shall be rendered unconscious and placed at the center of the pentacle. Pentacle? I don't know. It's weird. Okay. It is from there that the assembled. Should recite the incantations of Soros, sword in hand with the all exalted possible, as written. We five stand at the furthermost point. We are yet close enough to touch. Pentagram. The five star great power.
turning 90 degrees to your to describe the un okay what's the next page so okay uh, I'm gonna say if you want to read this pause it oh wait let me read the last paragraph. The body should be transferred to a casket of thick wood with the head assembled by your flock at any time remainder of the evil that can infect the unwary and the power of swords to keep all safe. And so the ritual and no longer should spirits the festival may. All right, so those caskets in the hole that are there. I wonder if this is something that they did. Wait a minute. I want to see one more thing real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick it up. Yep. Open, open, open. Alright, I wonder if Skull Dagger Blood Tree this isn't something I need to remember. Skull Dagger Blood Tree. Oh, bloody footprints. That's always a good thing. I have nothing to say about this. Can I... What's going on? Okay, here we go. Oh, this looks fun. Okay, two skulls and a pentagram or pentacle we have the blood yes and we have the whispers all right, I think that might be all that we can find here let's move on I'm afraid to a little bit I'm stuck on an invisible wall. What What is going on here? I just walked through there. Why can't I even not... Am I... Am I trapped? Keep going. Yeah, there's an invisible wall suddenly. Alright, so... I hope I can get out down this way. Oh, thank God. I was like, great, do I have to restart the save? Well, that's weird, all of a sudden, an invisible wall? All right, let's follow the bloody footprints. This is probably good. Stop going that way. What? Hello? Are you Olsen? Or are you a ghost? What are you? You are not a ghost. Or Olsen. This was in one of the visions. I'm gonna do nothing. Yeah, that was one of the visions. And we had another vision where Brad gets stabbed in the chest with a knife. So did I just not kill Brad, I wonder? Or was that one of the bad guys? I don't know. I guess we'll find out eventually. Uh, look down. Or just look out. This is fine. The water. Oh, uh, what? Return to the surface. Oh. 
Okay. Why am I putting it back? Don't open your eyes. Oh, jeez. Um... I have no idea what just that was. I'm glad I, I picked a good answer because apparently Alex's uh, approval of me went up. Yeah, help her out. That'd be a good idea. Watch the sharp edges. Olsen? No? Let's go. Close the door. All these doors have like latches and stuff you can close them. I have to be very careful using knives. So I definitely don't want to stab Brad in the chest. That seems like a bad thing to do in my opinion. Okay. Oh, I have the choice, don't I? Uh, run. Um, I just ditch Alex. I didn't even have an option. Close it, close it. Oh my god. Stab him. That must have been it. Fliss. Okay, so it was Fliss who would have stabbed him. All right, all right. But we're forgetting one important detail. The distributor cap. 
I'll better keep on hammering the mouse because I need to click something. Oh, we're not running to the boat. I thought we were running to the boat. We good here? I hope so. I think. Yeah, I think we'll be all right here. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaway? I think it's in the boxes. Whatever that you stuff will, is. I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Oh, um... Yeah, sure. Who cares? Well, then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. You're getting a lot of gas hints. Perhaps you've started to realize something. Yeah, a little bit. That everything... And every one may not be quite what they appear to be. Oh, thank God. I thought I had to memorize those. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on. Back to it. Speak soon. Okay. talking about back in the cargo hold you know you you ran out screaming your head off i knew it what are you okay yeah perfect what the fuck is going on with this ship because i gotta be honest it feels like there's some like like evil like literal evil going on down there let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this okay the stuff i saw like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and... That doesn't sound that crazy right about <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I've never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's got to be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Did you see the gold? Anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. You would have seen it by now. What do you think actually happened to this place? No idea. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. There was a note about a storm in the logbook. I guess they got caught in it. I was loading in my... Okay. This place is weird. Is this a ghost ship? Let's just go... This is weird. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like and it. All of you are barefoot. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. Oh, yeah, where is the crew? What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. Yeah. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. Yeah. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If 
we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Why is there power on a ship from 1947? I don't think there's anything in this room. But why is there power on a ship from 1947? We gotta get off this damn ship. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Hey, you better still have that gas mask. I think that's important. I don't see it on your shoulder anymore. You know, if I actually came across a ship like this in the ocean, this would be so fascinating to explore. Wait, I didn't check any of these things. Ooh, I missed some thing. It's a, quite a big shell. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Yeah, probably. Because there was a lot of shooting, I remember from in the prologue, I guess. Big gun. Alright. That's it. You know, it's weird. They let us run earlier in the game, but ever since then, I've been trying to do it. You can't. They teach you a mechanic and then they take it away from you. Man, pff, who needs to run? You know, on ghost ships. Oh, hello. Oh, bullet holes. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Yeah. I think we got a lot of duct tape, maybe. Or was that a flex tape? <laughs> That's a lot of damage. All right, so that's the way I'm supposed to go. But what's over here? Nothing. Oh, camera changed oddly. Am I going the right way? I don't know. Oh. The way up. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Okay, good. You do that. Oh, what we got here? Alright, uh, gas mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before you assist anyone else with theirs. Good. Yeah, it's a good idea. If you detect gas or hear a gas alarm, do not panic. Remain calm. Clearly shout gas, gas, gas. Warn anyone in the vicinity, hold your breath. Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Wow. Remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Pull your chin inside the mask first. Then pull the mask over your face and harness straps to your head. Remove any potentially trapped gas. Close the outlet valve. Breathe out sharply. And then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Check for leaks by tightening, squeezing, and flexing corrugated hose with your hand and inhaling. The mask should crumple around your face. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it's snug, then repeat the process above the mask crumples to ensure there's no leaks. Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Let go of the hose. You may now breathe as you normally would. Replace any headwear and close the carrier bag. I really hope I don't need to remember any of this because I will not remember any of this. You may now remove your mask only when you're told it's safe and instructed to do so. Price, price, the mask opens slightly and smell the air. If you detect, if you detect gas, close the opening and repeat the process of closing the outlet valve, breathing out sharply and pushing any potential trapped gas out of the mask with your hands. Once you remove the mask, free place. Okay. 
Yeah, I will not remember any of this, but... This guy might not have actually been inf infected, I guess, would be a word. Because he's actually wearing a mask. So he just hid and just died. Probably the only one here that died of, like, you know, starvation or something. Actually, no, dehydrates probably be the first one to kill you. That's, like, three days. Hey, a little help over here. Yeah, this looks safe. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Oh, well, he is wearing shoes. He's, like, the only one. You up. If they all suddenly have shoes on, I'm gonna kind of be a little irritated. <laughs> all right, she doesn't have shoes. She, he, or she doesn't have shoes. I went up the stairs. The wall looks weird. Why does it look like it's weird? No, 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 go back up, please. The stairs are so slow. Okay, what's this way? Nothing. Some of these camera angles, I wonder if I'm supposed to be seeing something. Like right now, is there supposed to be something in the ocean? Oh, no. I do not like this. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Yeah. Oh, hello. What do you see, Fliss? Okay. Nice talking to you. All right, bridge deck. Over here. Got to wait through here. What happens if you fail something like that? Do you just not do you just die or something? What kind of door is that that has a hinge? A very, apparently a very powerful hinge. Oh, hello. Or oh, in the radio room. This is like the last guy to die. The log book. Okay, what do we got here? Yep, yep, that's a book, alright. Alright, um... Last log shows him caught in a storm. Okay, thank you for telling that. Um, AM wind storm force gaining strength. Weather is exceptional with several lightning strikes hitting OM, but causing no sustained damage. We are leaking some water, but it's under control. Navigator. Oh, I never report something other. Um, operation logs. AMC going down. Noon thick fog. Increasing ahead. Very thick fog, dense fog. And what was that last part I missed? Port C bed depth readable. Okay, I'm no sailor, I have no idea what that means. Is that a door? I don't want to click on a door just yet. Okay, I don't want to click on the door. I saw a guy over here in the window. Hi, buddy. Okay, can't touch you. Not that. Oh God, Brad, why are you standing there?
Oh, pitcher. What we got here? He shoots himself. So is this something I should stop or? What? Is he stopping the bad guy with the gun? Letting the bad guy kill themselves. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Okay. I might be kind of a dick, but I think I just let him do it. Alright, so they Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. What does that say? Oh, planned route and actual route. Well, it's not too bad. You just quickly just veer straight up. Why would they go in a V right there anyway? And then up. Why not just come down here and then just go straight across? By 1947, there wouldn't be any U-boats, would there? When did the war end? 1945? Five, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not a World War II buff at all. All right, what do we have here? United States Department of the Navy. Uh, ship was blown off course. Oh. Cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Seabed depth believe uncharted, unable to establish depth. Is it, is that really a thing? They use the depth to figure out where they are? Heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location. Hmm. I hear radio. Alright, I need to go back. I'm pretty sure that's the radio room we're hearing over there. But there's a door I could click on in here. It's probably locked. I can't get it in anyway, but I don't want to be missing any like secrets or another premonition painting, you know? And why is Brad staring in the corner? It's starting to feel like you know, uh, Blair Witchy over here. Come on. Totally wasted my time. That's what I thought. Yep. Hey, buddy. How's it hanging? Wait, did I just see something? Oh, it's just another door. Alright. Moving on. You saw that painting? Yeah, I'm still kind of torn if I save that, if, if I'm supposed to save that guy or not. I mean, I, I guess I should probably save him because he doesn't, they don't really intend to kill any of us except for that Olsen guy. Olsen guy, he's a dick. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Mayday. All call broadcast. Radio contact intermittent attempted Morse SOS. Many crew dead. Mm, sounds pretty desperate. I die. Okay, that's a nice short, sweet sentence, I guess. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Look, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power, I'll give it a whirl. It's working. It's a number station. Yeah, these are real. I, I don't. As far as I know, they still haven't figured out what they are, or who's actually doing them. Hey, hey, 
Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Holy shit! We got him! Uh... If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately, uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please, get here now! We need help! It's like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Is that a bad thing? Please come in. Okay. Find generator to restore power. Come here, look. No, don't do it. This has got to lead somewhere. Yeah, down. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. Yeah, you have shoes. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Hey, you sure you're up for it? I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guys. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Uh, her face does not say I can handle it. <laughs> this is going well. So, so well. Yes. Oh, she has a nice cut on her leg now. Now she's gonna get infection. Any broken bones? Everything still works? Everyone okay? Yeah, let's... We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay. Why didn't they make okay, a plan the before they fell down the big hole? Well, the oil's still in it. It's good. Might still work. Flint might be another story. Hey. I know, quick time event this time. After you. Okay. Is this the right way? I don't think this is the right way. Oh, there we go. Sick bay. Okay, we get your leg looked at. I guess you needed a lower level position. Ooh, what do we got here? Wait, isn't the guy that fell out of the locker early on? What if he's here? All right. Brig Week 27, Monday. Arthur Miller, private. Petty theft. One day in Brig. Small items belong to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. We read this already, didn't we? This is... from We read this in the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Guess there was a guy named Joe in sickbay. Okay, so this is just gonna be the same thing we read earlier. Some sort of altercation. Yeah. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. Oh, 
Oh, it's a cell. What are you in for? <laughs> this oh that's oh yeah, right. We just read that. Alright, so there's nothing here. Okay. Oh wait. What's this? This is the safe that we could open earlier in the beginning. Medical officer report. Minutes of meeting between scientist X C W O Walter Bishop. Walter Bishop. Walter Bishop. Fringe. Uh, if you've seen the TV show Fringe, the guy's name is Walter Bishop. I wonder if that's just a coincidence or if they actually intended to do that. Anyway, CWO Tom Palmer with Sergeant Peter Wood observing and bleh, X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn bleh, for the same thing. I'm sorry. For the same thing, the Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents of warfare. Our act, bleh, limited by Geneva Protocol, have uh, experienced are unable to describe an investigation during to test effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure hallucinogens, codename Manchurian Gold, chemical munitions battle. It was even rel 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 relatively minor, observed to trigger significant hallucinations, men Highly convincing subjects seeing and hearing things that were really not there, even. The danger was manifold and in its intensity. Alright, say something. We are all insane. And where is my gas mask? I lost my gas mask. Oh, I totally agree. Oh, no. <laughs> gotcha there. But I totally agree. I would have so much fun exploring something like this. I've been the son of somebody on board. Yeah, I forget. One of the guys from the beginning that got punched. And there's a doctor, okay. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me. Did I read this in the beginning? Uh, John Patterson. Mild neurosis is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred in the line of duty. Prior to enlistment, no fit for service, temporary. Recommendation that he closely monitor and refer back to medical checking in one week. Facts are as follows. I saw Private Patterson today who attended sickbay. During that visit, I observed signs of severe distress consistent with evidence of panic. I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty this week, earlier this week. I requested Patterson to see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories in the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims these symptoms are very unusual for him. Private Patterson is a is a fit and healthy young man of 25 years with no known medical conditions and an exemplary military career. He was able to calm down during the course of our meeting, test for speech, reaction, memory, decision making all appear normal. Case clear of COSR. What is COSR? Okay, moving on. Let's go. Hello. What did you find? Any paintings? No, I don't see anything. Oh, come on. Come on. Get in there. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're back in the engine room. Okay, drop down. Come on. Oh, God, here we go. Check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good 
place to find the generator, right? Probably, yeah. The ladder's broken off here. One way trip. I think I can just wait. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. Okay. Then you probably still get up there if you climb on the railing there and jump and grab. You probably could get back up. What? Oh, God. What's up? That it, 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 it was. It was. What, what? Did you see it? Um. Hello. Okay, so I so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship is carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something. And the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. They came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal. We know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage. And for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking or thought they saw. Yeah, well, there you go. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. I wish I had that gas mask. No, no, don't you? Where the hell did you leave it? What's this? Van Linden engine works. Rotterdam, Netherlands. Diesel engine number 1734, year 1920. Well, that's a real company. I where they have a plaque of it. Okay, I don't like the way that cloud up there is like sparking. Not anymore, but it was when I started walking up to it. You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes. Shoes? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm stuck on their shoes. Especially Brad, he's just an idiot. Who wouldn't put on their shoes if you had an opportunity? Well, that doesn't look good. Oh, it's really strange there's nobody in the engine room at all. Like, body-wise. Hey, hey! I found it! Oh, thank God! And it's working! Yep, this is it, all right. How is it working? Switch and let's get back upstairs. Are they hallucinating that it's working? Let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. <laughs> We've lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! Please state your situation. Over. We need help now! There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over! I don't see that hitting. That works. Wait, 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 wait. I got. I, I know this might be a waste of time, but there's a whole section I ignored because I thought it was where I needed to be. So I'm slightly glad that the uh, game brought me back to Brad and her. I probably forgot her name. Julia? Bliss, Brad, Alex, and I think it was Julia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I came back. A note. Oh, book. Engine room. Telegraph log. Telegraph log. Okay. 
Okay, I had Bell acknowledged and just be adjusted. Oh, this is just okay. I got you. Lieutenant Young reported to re to relieve me of watch duty. I relayed engine running at standard speed with no special or standing orders from bridge or chief engineer. No maintenance or hazard issues in engine room. I found Lieutenant Young to be of sober and compos mentis disposition to hand over watch at 2400. Signed, J. G. Phillips. Um. O one hundred. Oh, oh, how do you say that one? O one hundred zero one. Oh no, zeros. Relieved Lieutenant J. G. Phillips of watch at zero hundred hours. If that's right. Inspected engine room for abnormalities. Performed equipment and machinery checks prior to watch. No faults found. Previous log entries examined. Currently standing speed engine. No bridge orders. Full head bell acknowledged. Full speed ahead. Flank bell acknowledged. Engine adjusted to maximum speed. Standing order from Chief Engineer, cut engine room power from all non-essential lighting and machinery. Chief Engineer entered engine room for emergency... Something. Look at this. The ship is actually anchored. Uh, why. Stop bell acknowledged, cut engine power. Order received to anchor in shallow water. And what was that last part? Uh, engineer... Engineer, enter the engine room for emergency inspection. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. What else do we have here? Anything interesting? Paintings? No. Okay. So at least we found out some more information. Now we just head back to. Oh, we're heading back to the bridge. I wonder if that's where we'll run into the guy with the gun. And I'm still kind of torn. Am I supposed to save him or not? Oh, what? Look at this. The rebreather. Why? That's you should be asking yourself For why. Sure over from the Duke of Milan. Oh, okay, there you go. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes. Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Um. You crazy? Half the ship is submerged. It could be a lifesaver. I agree with him, to be honest with you. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Oh, fuck. Shut up. Don't talk. This is full of holes. Ooh, it's a cap. Okay, we need that. Oh, please tell me he's not going to start butchering him. I can't even see what he's saying. I wish it was in English. Okay. Oh, man. I don't know how this would work if I was playing on, like, hard or whatever. Search the room. Avoid Olsen. Hey, pick it up. I don't know if I should be hurrying here or not. Okay, uh, 
Corporal Harding, the shipment of caskets unloaded earlier are specialized cargo that must be treated with utmost sensitivity. The contents are human bodies, used army soldiers that have undergone mis- Okay, I'm glad I, I, I searched. There's no use hiding, you little fuck. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deed? Hey. You can't have all the gold. Then I'm to be left here. Nah. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. So hard to be able to watch what's going on on the screen and do that at the same time. Oh no. Oh my god, I almost hold my breath the whole freaking time. Oh my god. <laughs> um, you're not carrying- oh, there it is. She has it. Oh yeah, that was quiet. <laughs> Stop. Oh no. Right. Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? 
Yeah, you burnt in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay. All right, let's just go. Oh, this might be bad. Okay, all, all right. Look, I, there was you know something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or a fog. Maybe. I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, but Olsen did. No, look, we held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We have a rebreather from our boat. What? We've been using it to get the mist out of us. You know, we could use it on you too, okay? No, 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 no. You keep that thing away from me. Oh, good. I'm glad I brought it along. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. Make a it's hole, let it out. Okay. Uh, okay. That's um. I don't want to try to grab it because I'll probably get shot. No, no, I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. Stop! Stop lying! You cannot see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying, and the mist is inside. Yeah, keep shooting it. Because I doubt he has extra ammo. Not let that there. Out in the. Hey man, come on, just put. The... Oh, well, we have a gun now. Gun beat sledgehammer. Dude, I hope there was no ammo. That's why I threw it down. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm going to check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh, I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. This doesn't seem smart. Oh, are you kidding me? Olsen, found him. Wood, come here. Uh, he's like right on the corner. Why would you yell? I saw the the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. <laughs> um, who dat? Okay, but on this interesting note, um, I'm gonna end this one here. I love that our time, but uh, <laughs> okay, this was an interesting one. Okay. Yeah, a little tongue-tied here because, you know, all the S-ing, having to do the heartbeats, it really gets your adrenaline going. Because I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> but um, I'm going to end this here. Thanks for hanging out and watching. Um, if you liked what you see, please leave a like and a subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, but have a good one. Bye.